This video will cover launching a discovery scan in Tenable SC. The goal of this video is to conduct simple identification of assets within your network. To begin, we need to create a scan policy. To do this, we'll navigate to the Scan Policy section. Create a new policy. There are a variety of templates to choose from for different scanning needs. In this scenario, we'll use the host discovery template. This template runs quickly as it simply identifies hosts which respond to ping-like requests. Of course, this will also be impacted by the number of hosts you are scanning, as more hosts will require more scanning time. Provide a name and optionally a description and tags. In the Discovery section, you should choose either Host Enumeration or OS Identification. Choosing OS Identification will also try to gather operating system information in addition to simple host checking. Now that we have a policy, we can create a scan. We'll navigate to the Active Scans section and add a new scan. After providing a name, we can choose the policy that we just created. If you'd like to run this scan on a schedule, you can also define that here as well. Next, we'll go to the Settings section. Here we'll choose a repository to put this data in. Next, we'll choose our targets to scan. We'll change our target type from Assets to IP and DNS name. Here you can enter individual IP addresses, ranges, as well as host names. Here we've entered a simple IP address range. When finished, we can save the scan. To launch the scan, click the Launch button. To view the status of the scan, navigate to the Scan Results section. Here we can see that the scan is currently in progress, as well as identifying the number of IPs that have been scanned so far. If we click on the scan, we can get some additional details, including which scanner is currently running the scan job, as well as how many IP addresses have already been completed. When the scan has finished, clicking on it will bring you directly to the results. The default analysis tool is the vulnerability summary. If we change this to an IP summary, we can see that the scan has identified six assets. Since we chose to gather operating system information during the scan, we can change the analysis tool to list OS to view them.